Yes, my name is Sandra Hitanga. I'm from Tando. I came here to Charisi because me and my wife were having challenges about marriages. And the, the, the challenge was about a lot of time we argue and uh, most of the time maybe I post to go to different churches to get advice. Then the men of God prophesied to us that we shouldn't be doing that. Of course, most of the places where I'm going, they are not, they are not true of God. Which means now I'm delivered from that spirit of going to different churches because I was not good in solution. He also told me that uh, I must respect my wife because it's the wife that which I was given by God. Then uh, he also prophesied that uh, from now on things will be fine and we will be peace in my family. Then uh, everything will be fine with my wife and I and uh, whatever that we want to, it to happen in our life, it will happen. When he was praying for me, I feel uh, something was coming out and I feel light at the moment and that I'm feeling free. I hope God that everything from now on, I'm blessed. Amen. My name is Kuku I'm from Butlokos. Uh, we came here to be delivered by the men of God because we had challenges in our marriage and I think the men of God prayed for us before I could even take out the things that I wrote down from the men of God to say them. The men of God uh, uh, delivered uh, me by saying them before I could even take my book out. Uh, the man of God prayed for me and delivered me. I believe I'm delivered and our marriage will work in Jesus' name. When the man of God prayed for me, I fell and I felt this heavy load leaving my body and now I feel light and I believe I'm free. When I entered to see the man of God, I sat down and the man of God started saying the things that I had on my book. I, when I left home, I made, I made a list in my book about the things that I want and the man of God to deliver me with. Before I could even take the book, the man of God started telling me about those things as if he could see, but it was even before I could take my book out of my bag. Uh, it was about the challenges that we have in our marriage and for God to help us to prosper and to be united and be able to do everything as one. I felt I got delivered. I can encourage them that wherever that they are feeling challenges and everything, Charis is the place to which they can get deliverance and advices. I'm advising them that they can come if they believe, everything will change in their life. They will get blessings and advice is good ones. And Amen. serve God truly. And they should serve God truly. I'm meeting this lady for the first time. I don't know where I before. Did we ever speak? We, we, we have never spoken before. But I'm seeing a very bad situation that can lead to a divorce. You hear me? A very bad situation that will lead to a divorce because of misunderstanding. It's true? Yes. Is it true? Yes. Yeah? Can you remove your mask? Yeah? Because, you know, this is a good wife. This is the wife that God gave you. But you, you love prophets. It's not true. Yeah? Yes. You love prophets. And when your wife say, please, let us not do this, let us not do this. You feel like she's a baby in the Lord. You feel like she's a baby, and even places you are going, those people are not even prophets. You understand? And uh, at the other hand, you are looking at this woman because of the background of where she comes from. Maybe she needs deliverance. Huh? Yes. Whereas this is a right woman that God gave you. 
because sometimes she doesn't know. She doesn't even know what to do. You know when she come here, she's coming here because of the confusion she left in the marriage. Did she tell you? Yeah, she was telling you. Yeah, she used to see a psychologist sometimes. But she's confused. Some because days. I'm afraid that she can get depression. This way. You have destroyed your wife. You must very destroy your wife. Your wife loves you so much. But you, you want to go to this church, you want to go to that church, you want to go to that church. Where there's a prophet, where there's a prophet, you want to go there. I was seeing a child which is having a name that starts with R. Huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. Is this one? Yes. A child that starts with the name R. And I heard God says, what will happen? if they separate concerning this child. Because you're a rough person. Never lied to you. You're a very rough person. And this woman always tolerates you. And you're confusing your wife. Yeah, this woman is confused. In fact, I'm sitting in front of the person who's confused you. And if this woman can go, you'll never have a wife. Because this woman, I know you people you are not from the same place. Another one speak another thing, another one speak another thing. Yes. Eh? Yes. Is it true? It's true. But you you are given a woman because of where God wants to take you. Yes. You understand? So then you must not get a better woman. Yes. You have to get a person who speaks like a pretty person. Yes. But this is not pain. It's like pain, but it's not pain. The way she was born. You understand? So that your history will change. But you are attacking your wife. Attacking your wife. You destroy your wife. This woman, whatever she says, yes, she's born in ZCC. It's like this spirit of ZCC that she fought them. And she won against them. You understand? Now you need to stand together. This argument is bringing suspicion now on her. She, she, she told you? Yeah, she told me. Huh? Yeah, she told me. Well, well she started to suspect. Maybe you've got someone. Maybe... And whatever... I'm telling her, she put it down. Eh? She put it down. Where is it? Yes. She put this thing down that the man of God must address this. But she's tired. That's why she put it down. Eh? Yes. My brother, this is your true wife. This is a true wife that God gave you. Don't look at what is happening now. Right now, your wife is suffering. You understand? And she has got a mind of if she can get a job. Is it true what I'm saying? That you want to support your husband? Yes. Huh? Yes. She has got a mind, this woman. That I want to get a job. I want to stand with my husband. But the husband, which one? Which one? That's why she's confused, this woman. I want to pray for you, you understand? Don't say she can't say anything. Because now she's afraid you're going to speak out. She doesn't know what to take now. You understand? If you do this thing, you'll be going back to the spirit of your forefathers. Remember what happens there. Eh? They don't believe in marriage. Am I lie to you? Eh? They don't believe in marriage. It's like it's taking you back then. For you to have a child there, having a child there, having a child there. It don't be very good for you. You understand? God gave you because you, you love promise. 
you who love God. So today don't love God, but love Holy Spirit. You understand? So that Holy Spirit will guide you to your right church. You hear what I'm going to say? Yeah. Yeah. Don't you hear that one is a prophet? You are, you, are, you, are, you are everywhere. And as I said, you are attacking yourself. And when your wife speaks, it's like, it means she doesn't understand things of the spirit. Yeah? Yeah. You have a right wife. I'm telling you, you have a right wife. From today, as I'm speaking with you, I don't know you. I don't know you. Did we ever speak today? No. So I'm telling you this because God wants this marriage to stand because of this man. This man loved God. He even wished to be used by God. You want to hear God speaking. You cannot hear God speaking by, you understand? By, by turning around. And on the other side, you are destroying yourself. If you destroy your wife, you destroy yourself. And I want to pray for your wife, my brother. I know that it's love she's been searching for a job. And she's tired. She's going to get it. And all these things will be said. Make sure that for today you don't have. If you are wise, listen to me. You don't be rough and go back to the spirit of your forefather. Where you don't care about a woman. Woman can tell you anything. It's the spirit of your forefathers. You, you are chosen by God. You have to be different. You are going to raise people who fear God. You understand what brother said? You love this woman from a different church. Now she's following you. Don't destroy yourself. You understand what brother said? You know what I'm talking about. Eh? It's all that you wrote there. You want to know about your marriage. Yes? Yes. You want to know, you want to stand in your marriage. If not, if you don't talk about this, the spirit of the forefathers will come to this world. And there will be issues of ladies, issues of lust, you understand? And trouble you. God gave you this woman so that you enjoy it. And I'm telling you, from now you will enjoy it. You, you will enjoy it. Eh? You want to say something to your wife? Yeah. I'm say I'm sorry. Go closer to your wife. Sir. Stand up. Face each other. Stand up, sister. Yes. I'm sorry. And I love you. I will never do this in a game. Magisha, I think your husband and your wife. Kiss your wife. Lift up your hands and kiss. That's why I call this man. That's why I call this man. This is for a testimony for you. Because of where God is taking you. God cannot raise a man who's playing his wife. First Peter 3 verse 7. It says, when your wife is crying, God cannot hear your prayers. You understand? So this time, every word you speak, it will be heard by God. You understand? Go release your wife, she will help you. She will help you. I release anointing. Close your eyes. I release this anointing now. Now, 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 now. I set you free. I set you free now. I set you free now. I set you free now. Come on. Out. Leave it. Out, you demon. You are blocking the job. Out. Blocking the job. Leave her, leave her, leave her. Out! It's like a rope. Can you see what has happened to your wife now? They tie her so that she must not work. You understand? Because she's been applying everywhere. You understand? Now, this is like a rope. It's coming out, this rope. It's like. Out! Come out! In the name of Jesus! 
in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Your spirit of stagnation. Your spirit of stagnation. Out. Can you hear this? The one that doesn't want you to succeed in life. Your spirit. Come on. Why are you tying your le legs? Why are you tying your legs? Come out! I you. <laughs> you demon. Out! You don't want to to end my husband. You want to destroy the man. Out! Demon! Jesus! See, your wife is free now. Right. 